don't feel like a hero, it's really not so hard because we fly low to the ground and in calm air, it's never scary. So it's easy to forget about the risk. Expect collapses to be more dynamic than with classic speed wings and make sure you don't push the limits and don't get collapses at all. The line is stable enough for those conditions we like to speed fly in and that's what it's made for. The most likely scenario to get a collapse is when you lose some line tension and you feel light in your harness. For example, when you release toggles quickly and you start diving. We do not recommend to fly proxy in thermic or windy conditions where strong turbulence needs to be expected. Active flying is the best way to avoid collapses and works the same way as with any other wing. But even if you don't fly active, and you just keep your toggles at the bottom of the risers, chances to get a collapse are very small. The stall point is lower on the line than on the moustache. Especially on the bigger sizes, it's well below the carabiner. We realized some moustache pilots are afraid flying their moustache through thermals. It's fine to do so with your moustache and also with the line. But we don't recommend soaring or proximity flying in thermic conditions, but simply flying out in the valley in best glide through the thermals is no problem. If you should ever get a collapse, don't go hands up. Pump the collapse open or pull both toggles to the end of the risers. Keep in mind if you get a big asymmetric collapse when flying 100 km an hour, things will go really, really fast and your reaction will probably be too late to keep your heading. Also be careful while swooping. If there are strong valley winds, you have to expect turbulence. In theory, your wing is very stable when you come out of a turn with a ton of speed. But think about what could possibly happen if you get a collapse with 150 km an hour. We just don't know. Let's not find out. Let's repeat. Speed is not your friend when you get a collapse. Fly slow and active in turbulence. Let's talk about other dangers. Always check your bridle lines. Do not fly when they are damaged from skis or rocks. Do not fly with knots. Check your brake lines really well. If you do end up flying with a knot, avoid flying full speed. Do not shorten the black brake line. If the brake line is too short, you remove the reflex and the wing gets collapsy. As there is a lot of weight on your A-risers, parakites get out of trim quicker than any other wing. If you feel like your wing stalls early or doesn't get hard anymore before it stalls, send it in for a retrim. Never ever let go the toggles, even if a riser is twisted, just keep flying with the twisted riser, it's fine. Don't take both toggles in one hand, you will probably start rolling around. Don't look back while flying proxy, you will make a turn, it's very hard to go straight. As always in speed flying, the biggest danger is the pilot, not the gear. Always make sure to have enough safety margin and fly in your own comfort zone.